Hi everyone, it's Amy Cudmore here coming at you from the Broward North Campus Student Life. Today we're going to do our yoga and meditation class. We're going to start laying on our backs. You can turn your mat or your towel, whatever you have at home, um, where you're the long way so that you can see what I'm doing. And if you listen to my instruction, you should be able to follow it and get into the poses and the positions just fine, um, even if you're not looking at the camera, okay? So let's begin. You lay your mat out if you have one or a towel on a soft surface. If you don't have a soft surface where you are, maybe double up on the towels, okay? It's really important to breathe. So let's get going. Turn sideways on your mat and you want your feet out in front of you and you want to sit your glutes about in the middle. Make sure you have enough to lay the crown of your head to your hips back on the mat. All right. We're going to roll down and begin in dead man pose with a few rounds of breath. So reach forward as you inhale, draw your navel to your spine and begin to roll down the mat. Bone by bone, breath by breath, nice and slow. Your fingertips will naturally want to follow. fingertips to the sky and then float them all the way down at your side and rest your palms facing up to the sky and just melt into the mat for a few rounds of breath And release 
that leg. Moving to your right leg, drawing it into your chest, wrapping your knee. to bridge. You're going to bend one knee and root your foot, heel, sole of your feet, press into the mat, and then the other. Draw your heels into your glutes, and you're going to peel your spine off the mat from the tailbone up. Hands rest at your side, preparing Deep inhale, as you exhale, tuck your tailbone and peel your hips right up through your spine, resting through your shoulder blades, squeezing your glutes, lifting your hips high. Connecting our breath with our body as we move. You're going to roll down as you breathe, all the way to the bottom. And breathe again as you roll up, peeling your spine off the mat to the top of your spine. And down we go. Nice and slow. Peeling each bone, lifting off the mat, and then rolling back down, pressing into the mat. Good. Roll down. You want to make sure that your knees stay together. They don't fold out like this. You don't want them folding out like this. This is an exaggeration. Holding up and rolling down. Let's do two more. One more. And hold. You want to reach your fingertips for your heels. And then roll all the way down. Once your lower back is resting on the mat, draw one knee in and then the other. And rock side to side. Nice little massage on your lower back. right to the center. You want to lengthen your left leg. Take your right leg and cross it just above your knee. 
it looks like an upside down number four. Okay, this is called the figure four stretch. It's for this hip, okay, the bent knee hip. You're gonna reach through the little triangle right here. Rest your hand on your hamstring and the other one comes around as well. And you're gonna gently press your elbow right on that bent knee. Bend that left leg, draw this knee down, 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 down towards your chest. You feel a stretch right here in your hips, right on the outside there. Relax and breathe. Rest your face. left knee in a little deeper. The stretch will go a little deeper in that hip.
keeping your shoulders anchored on the mat. Keep your chin slightly tucked. You don't want it like this. Just a neutral, nice length in your spine as it twists like a strand of DNA. I like to close my eyes and rest. And then float your fingertips, turn your chin back to the center as the knees join your hands. Deep inhale as you exhale, you're gonna switch directions. Knees lower to the right, fingertips and chin turn to the left. Shoulders stay anchored on your mat or towel. about each bone of your spine. Round. And then you sink that spine. more. 
and then float out to neutral. You're gonna sink your hips to your heels for a brief rest in child pose. You wanna draw your forehead to rest on the mat and your hands gently above your head. And we rest and breathe. our brain with our body. We inhale to lower, exhale to lift. I'm not looking for the leg higher and then you tip and lose your balance like this. No. You want to stay nice and level, straight line. Two more. Reach. And last one. Reach and hold. Replace your hand and knee for a brief rest in child pose. If you feel any tension gathered in your wrists, this is where you can wiggle the fingers, roll the wrists, make sure the blood is circulating in that joint. Beautiful. 
floating out onto all fours. Remember that line. Step your right leg through and your left leg presses way back, okay? It doesn't look like this. No, not like that. Slide the back leg way back. Knee under ankle. All right. You're gonna take your hands and you're gonna face the palms forward and the fingertips down. You're gonna inhale to rise like you're circling a big moon with your fingertips. Good. Breathing in as you move. Keep moving. You're gonna feel it in your hip flexors and your quadriceps, the back legs. You'll feel it in your front quadriceps. Two more, reach, and then reach and hold, casting your gaze up to where the wall and ceiling meet for balance. Beautiful. And then forward fold, you're gonna palm the mat. Now step your back leg up long and the front leg goes long. Okay, targeting your hamstrings on the front leg, okay? You wanna let your head rest on this one, trying to draw your chest to your knees with a nice long neck. Breathing deep. Be patient with yourself. my eyes here and just relax with every exhale. Beautiful. Now bend the front knee, palm the mat, and slide the back leg all the way down till the knee touches the mat and you uncurl your toes. Now take the front leg and slide it across behind your wrist. This is pigeon. Okay? You'll feel this on the front leg hip. You'll feel it on the back hip flexors. Keep the chest open. Now, if you're comfortable, you can come down on your forearms. Okay? Please do not hang your head like that. Okay? Your head is very heavy. Be kind to your spine. Now, if you're feeling really flexible and loose in that hip today, you can lengthen your arms all the way until you rest your forehead on the mat. Quadriceps. 
Remember where you cast your gaze when you look up, where the wall and the ceiling meet. Beautiful. And one more. We're going to reach and hold. Here we go. And breathe. And forward fold, palm the mat. Step up to pyramid. Front leg is long. Trying to reach the back heel down to the mat. Rest the head. Draw the chest towards the knee. Almost there today. Being patient, breathing. Beautiful. And the front knee, palm the mat. Back leg goes all the way down till you rest the knee and curl the toe. Move into pigeon, sliding that front leg across. Right into that hip, right there. You can stay here. You could come here. Or you can come here. Wherever you are in your breathing. to do this. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay connected. See you next time.